Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after the short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. The roof was completely gone. All of our memories being wiped away. The rain is what got 20 us. minutes of sheer terror. And you can feel it in your body. I watched the fire move down the canyon. The rumbling of the house. My son started screaming, we're going to die, we're going to die. In the name of Jesus, we are not going to die. At Samaritan's Purse, we bring spiritual and physical aid to hurting people around the world. We go into dangerous situations because in disaster, in disease, in war, Jesus calls us to love our neighbor, to heal the sick, feed the hungry, restore the broken. All who work and volunteer with Samaritan's Purse follow the example of Jesus. We go to serve, not to be served. And we go in Jesus' name. Join us at SamaritansPurse.org. That's SamaritansPurse.org. Hey, everybody. I'm Dale. And I'm Tamara. We're hosts of the Kainos Project podcast. Where we help you tackle ancient Christian truths in everyday settings. To learn more and subscribe, go to lifeaudio.com. A Prayer for the Brokenhearted, written and read by Jessica Van Rokel. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Psalm 34, 18 You could hear her heart breaking. She tried to muffle her sobs, but her body shook. What she longed for had never been granted. Every day she prayed, every month she hoped. Every year she begged, but her womb remained empty. Her arms ached to hold a tiny bundle of joy, but all she held was a broken heart. One year on her annual visit to the temple, Hannah's wordless prayers caught the attention of Eli, the priest. He accused her of drunkenness, but when he discovered the reason for her anguish, he told her a child would be born to her. She had a son and fulfilled her promise to give him back to the Lord. God would be near her then as he was before. Has a broken heart ever rendered you without a voice? Have you ever been so broken you had nothing but silence to give? In those moments, it is easy to despair. Loneliness fools us into thinking we're the only one who has ever had a broken heart. But God draws near and brings us hope. Hope is to trust, to wait for, and to endure. Our circumstances attempt to distract us into thinking hope is a change in those circumstances. It's easy to think that if our circumstances change, then hope will return. But we find our hope in the personhood of God. He is everything we could ever hope for, and He promises us His presence. Joseph was separated from his coat of many colors and his father's love by his jealous older brothers. He was sold as a slave, ran a household, thrown into prison where he ran that too, and finally was put in charge as second in command to Pharaoh. What did he hope for? In being remembered by a fellow prisoner for interpreting a dream? In his dad sending out a search and rescue team? No, his hope was in God alone. Three times in Genesis 39, it is written, God was with him. It doesn't say Joseph turned his back on God or that he tried to fix his problems or that he hoped in a change in circumstances. God was with him, even in his broken heart. Later in Genesis 45, we get a glimpse into the depths of his broken heart when we read how his sobs 
reverberated beyond the walls of the room. Through it all, Joseph remained faithful to God, and God drew near him to comfort him with his presence. The disciples were another group of people who knew a broken heart. They watched Jesus die a horrific, painful death on the cross. They saw him struggle to push himself up the rough-hewn log, to gasp a breath only to sink down again, bearing the weight of his body through nail-pierced hands. They witnessed the world turn dark as night and felt the earth shake. They heard him commit his life to his father and their hearts shattered. Their hopes and dreams of an earthly kingdom lay broken at the base of the cross. When Jesus rose from the dead three days later to defeat death, they remembered his promise to always be with them. In John 14, Jesus promised a comforter to teach them and to be near them. At Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came, and thousands of people surrendered their lives to his lordship. The disciples never again doubted Jesus' presence in their lives. He is our comforter today. It is through the ministry of the Holy Spirit that we can know God's comforting presence when our hearts lay shattered at our feet. We can know the power of God's presence just like Hannah, Joseph, and the disciples knew the nearness of God in their most devastating moments. God is near the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. We do not have to remain broken, but can hold our broken heart out as an offering to the one who was broken on our behalf. He draws near and brings us comfort. Let's pray. Holy God, my heart is so broken, I don't know that it can ever be made whole again. The pain makes me feel so alone, and I don't know if I can face one more day. I know you hear my cries, even if it feels like you don't. Draw near me and let me feel your presence. Help me look beyond my broken heart and look for you. I'm grateful you are with me and for your promise to never leave me or forsake me. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Is life feeling chaotic? I get it. I'm Rachel Wojo, host of the Untangling Life podcast. Don't miss the passionate encouragement and faith-based resources you need to help you clear your head and calm your heart. As Shell says, it feels like Rachel always knows what I need to hear. She keeps it real and is so humble. Her podcast is just the cherry on top. Enjoy Untangling Life with Rachel Wojo on lifeaudio.com or your favorite podcast app now.